Hey everybody, welcome to Friday's at home workout of the day presented to you by Progression Fitness. Coach Nick here to get you through your day. Let's go ahead and start right away with our warm up. Here's what you're going to have today. You're going to continue working on your jumping rope or something else for two minutes of any kind of cardio. Again, get creative with your jump roping. There's more than just two footed hops, there's skipping rope, there's crossing rope. Go on YouTube, maybe find a jump roping beginning skills video and see what you can get down or play around with and make this a little bit more interesting. Then you're gonna go right into a three minute EMOM of five sit ups, 10 jumping air squats or normal air squats if jumping doesn't agree with your body, and 30 mountain climbers. Really try to push yourself through this three minute EMOM to get your heart rate up and to get your body warm and ready to exercise today. Again, as always, if you'd like to add a couple minutes to this EMOM today, by all means, knock yourself out. It's, go it's gonna be a good one. So go ahead, pause this video, and start your warm up. Welcome back from the warm up. Now it's time for our full body strength. Today you have the following. On a 12 minute clock, you need to perform four sets. So that's gonna be a set every three minutes of eight dumbbell man makers and 24 alternating V ups, okay? Alternating V up, pretty straightforward abdominal exercise. If that isn't happening, you could also always go with leg lifts or sit ups find something that works out your core, okay? For the dumbbell man makers, now this is gonna be a little different for everybody depending on what piece of equipment that you have home available to you to use today, okay? So I kinda demo one of everything. So I do it with a dumbbell, as you can see here, uh, and I do it only with single piece of equipment, all right? Since again, I'm going under the premise that most of us only have one piece of gear at home. If you have two pieces of gear at home, or like two dumbbells, for example, go right ahead and get into the dumbbell man makers. If not, check out the dumbbell, single arm dumbbell man maker, okay? I do my push up first, I leave the dumbbell off to the side of my arm, I do a row, slide the dumbbell over, do another row, then I grab the dumbbell with both hands stepping over it, and I do a squat clean, so I stand up and then jump into a squat with the weight of my shoulders, and finish into a thruster or press overhead. So again, dumbbell row, slide the dumbbell over, dumbbell row, uh, walk over the dumbbell into a squat clean thruster, okay? And I do that eight times, okay? Another alternative I do with a kettlebell, okay? This also could be done uh, this way with the dumbbell. So you're gonna do it four in the left, four in the right dumbbell man maker. So you do your push up, dumb, uh, kettlebell row, switch hands, kettlebell row. Then I'm going to do a cheater clean like I demoed yesterday. Again, it's just a name, um, perfectly acceptable movement. I get the clean into a front rack position. I do a front squat and then finish into a press. Right, the next repetition, you see me do the same thing, but on the opposite side of my body. All right, a lot of different ways to do the dumbbell man maker today. Just make sure you're including a push up, a row on each arm, and then some kind of a squat into a press. All right. Those are the things we wanna to see today, no matter how you do this. I also finish with a slam ball as well, just in case you wanna try this with a slam ball today. All right, I do push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, squat clean into a thruster, finishing with a ball slam, okay? Again, endless variations for the dumbbell man maker today. Just take a few moments here to warm it up so you can get some consistent movement on this today and finish your sets within that three minutes so you can get your four sets done in the total 12 minutes for your strength work today. Go ahead, after you've warmed up the dumbbell or kettlebell or slam ball man maker, pause this video and start your 12 minute strength portion. Welcome back from the strength portion. Now it's time for our full body sprint workout. Today you're going to have the following, okay? It's gonna be one minute of a dumbbell push press, it's gonna be one minute of a single dumbbell uh, sumo deadlift high pull, one minute box step up or reverse lunge, one minute of mountain climbers, and then one minute of single dumbbell bicep curls. Let's go back through each one of those, okay? On the single dumbbell push press, I just put the dumbbell in the front of my shoulders, I dip, drive, and press for every single rep. So no matter how you do this today, if you split it up and go three reps on the right, three reps on the right, uh, left, with a single object, that's fine. Just be consistent, make sure your feet are staying pretty flat on the ground so you're pushing through your legs and driving through the press for the movement push press. 
Then sing, sumo uh, single dumbbell sumo deadlift high pull. I demo this with the dumbbell. It's super easy with the kettlebell. Uh, notice I'm not super worried about the height. I may be getting up to the middle of my chest with this today. I grab the dumbbell from the tall side to begin with. I also grab the dumbbell with both hands on the silver handle in the middle. Okay, uh, that's, I would recommend one of those two grips. If you grab the handle so the dumbbell's horizontal, you're gonna have to reach a little bit more to get to the floor, to get to the floor today. If you can't touch the floor, don't force it. Just go as low as you're comfortable getting today. Big thing on the sumo deadlift is stance, uh, grip, and then the movement itself. So all we're gonna think is deadlift, shrug, and high pull. Most of your momentum is coming, from, all of your momentum is coming from the deadlift and the shrug. So the pull is more just of a float and keeping the weight close to your body. You don't wanna hit yourself in the chin. That's a sign that you're not doing this right or you're over pulling, okay? Don't take out any teeth today. Then we have the uh, box step ups or reverse lunge. Uh, box step up, uh, we touched on this the other day. If you happen to have a box or a piece of furniture to step onto, fantastic. Okay, a safer option for at home today, or you could use a set of stairs, right? A low set of stairs and just switch your feet back and forth. Another great option today would be a reverse lunge, okay? Just because this is a sprint, right? It's a speed thing. A upscale for this could be a jumping reverse lunge as I demo here, but you really wanna make sure in your warmups, you're comfortable and have the stability to do that movement if you're going to do it today. Have some fun with this one. Uh, then we have one minute mountain climbers. Push it, push it, push it. Just go fast as you can on this movement today. If mountain climbers aren't happening, uh, running in place, like high knee steps could be a great alternative. Uh, and then last but not least, single dumbbell bicep curls. I just wanted to make this tougher. So I grabbed an old towel, I grabbed my kettlebell. You could wrap a towel around a dumbbell as well and just do towel grip curls, okay? You could really, really burn this one out, get your grip and your biceps uh, burning, okay? Uh, between sets today, so that you're gonna go through that three times today. Between each set, you get a one minute break before starting the next round. Go ahead, please practice several reps of all of these movements before you get started with today's workout. Pause this video and then start the workout. Last but not least, we have our finisher today. It's gonna be on a five minute running clock, three minutes of max weighted dead bugs, okay? So if you go search this online, it shows it with like two and a half pounds or five pound plates. That's what I found anyways. So you could just do a normal dead bug if you've never done those before. Doing traditional dead bugs, no weights in your hands, as shown in this video, is gonna be more than sufficient, especially trying to do it for three minutes. Now, if you've done this before, you, you, you do a lot of core stability work and whatnot. Uh, the next frame here, I take my dumbbell, or you know, you just place the piece of equipment you have at home, and I just hold it one arm. So you'd probably do 90 seconds on the left side, and then you'd switch the weight over and do 90 seconds on your right side, as shown in the video, okay? After that, you're immediately gonna go into two minutes of max Russian twists. I just do this with my hands. I pick my feet off the ground. I focus on crunching my core down to keep it engaged. And I just touch my hands to each side as many times as I can in two minutes. If you did wanna upscale this, again, you are just a core junkie. You could hold a dumbbell and try to tap a dumbbell from side to side. Make sure the weight is not causing you to overstrain. We want you to move it and get as many Russian twists in as you can during that two minutes. Go ahead, pause the video and complete your finisher today. Thanks again, friends, for tuning in to Friday's at home workout of the day presented to you by Progression Fitness. I hope you had a wonderful first week of workouts. We'll see you this weekend for some at home workouts as well. And then we'll pick things up again on Monday. Have a great weekend. See you then. Bye.